I'm not the one who's sick. And neither are you. Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. My name is James. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We talk Penguin, Batman, and more all the time. We are a charcuterie board of digital content. For those of you who have been subscribed for some time, thank you so much for all of your support. We really appreciate it. But you also know that from the second episode of The Penguin, I suspected that Julian Rush might be the Scarecrow. As time went on, I did videos on, is he the Scarecrow? Is he Hugo Strange? Is he Calendar Man? Is he anybody under the sun? Mad Hatter, we all know. Everyone knows and knows me knows. I'm dying for some Mad Hatter in the Reeves verse. After that, I will take you on a personally conducted tour of my hat factory. But my first suspicion was always Scarecrow, and I was always kind of drawn back to Scarecrow. And then we did the video, of course, is he real? Does he exist? Which still, it could be a thing. But the whole Julian Rush Scarecrow thing always stayed at the forefront, and I got comments, he's Scarecrow, he's Hugo Strange, like I said, like those ones were really the, at the forefront of them all, other than being imaginary. But last night I posted a video, should the Batman 2 be rated R? And I, you know, people watched it, but most of the comments were, hey, you talked about the Scarecrow, you write about the Scarecrow, Julian Rush is Scarecrow. Then a Julian Rush video I did had a lot of Scarecrow confirmed. And I was like, what is going on here? I did some investigating. I looked through it all. And my God. Okay. This is cool. I'm pretty sure it's broken all over. But I ended up, I was going to record this video right away. I had to do some digging though to make sure that I had, you know, my ducks in a row and where it came from. And I wanted to give the right sources the credit that they deserve for catching it. It was from a Reddit user, the Batman film saying something really interesting in Julian Rush's office. But I gotta give full props to Bobotox for like a year ago in 2023 coming out and saying that he heard that Jonathan Crane was gonna be in the Penguin and he also knew that Theo Rossi was playing the character of Jonathan Crane and of course that all changed. This is in this Twitter post right here that you can read on the screen. So this all comes from this image right here. After I woke up and I saw all of these messages on these videos, these all different videos, I went back and I watched Chandani. I was like, I gotta watch this episode because there's something going on here that I gotta see. And I looked at it and I looked at it closely and I saw what the posts were showing. And I was like, <laughs> they did a great job of not showing it, but showing it, right? Like nobody noticed it until now. We're what, how many weeks out from episode four are we? We're, you know, we're four weeks, five weeks almost now out and this is when it's starting to pick up traction now. So I went back and I watched episode two when we were first introduced to Theo Rossi's Julian Rush and I took a look at that and on the desk, he says, look at my desk, look at the things on my desk. The items on my desk. And his desk is empty. There's nothing on his, we see his nameplate, Julian Rush. Now is that a complete misdirect? So look, in episode four, we see all of this on the desk right here, right? We see clearly gloves with needles here and possibly a scarecrow mask here. Everything, nothing is in focus. They never dwell on anything like they do with his in episode two. And the items there. He never says, look at my desk. This one, they're there. So you start to think is, what's the point of this? Are they dropping more Easter eggs? Now I did a video a little while ago about how the Court of Owls are gonna be in the Batman 2. And I think that's something that everybody speculates. But in that video, I also discuss Eve Carlo and how she's like an homage to Clayface. She's not Clayface per se, but she is an homage to the character. She is Eve Carlo and she puts on the persona of Penguin's mom at the end. She takes the form of Penguin's mom at the end and he lives vicariously through that and has a conversation with her like that way. And the kind of the way that Clayface took on the personas of other people. That's what, that was my, my guess on that was that this is an homage. We're not gonna get Clayface, but this is this world's version of Clayface essentially. Just, you know, because she, you know, she dresses and whatever. That, well, that was my idea, my thought. So I tried to correlate that to this Julian Rush character now. That's absurd. Is he Scarecrow? Is he, like, he's not called Jonathan Crane, so why change the name drastically? Even Eve Carlo had Carlo in her. So why do it? So then you think, okay, but also the other videos that I did, and a lot of the comments I saw, as I mentioned, was Hugo Strange, Calendar Man, Mad Hatter. There was a lot in there. So you start to think, okay, maybe he is Scarecrow. Or maybe he's an amalgamation of all of these characters and he's his own character. He has little pieces of these characters sprinkled into him and kind of combined because we're not gonna get those characters so they made one 
new character unique with a little bit of attributes of all of those characters. So that was another thought that I had. But when you look at it, he's clearly Scarecrow based on this. There's clues sprinkled all over that he's Scarecrow from his fear tactics. And also in episode eight of the Penguin, Penguin refuses to admit that he killed his brothers, refuses to admit that he killed them. Now we are led to believe that he did, and I would certainly believe that he did because he's an evil SOB, but what if he didn't? What if this was all like a fear tactic that he used, that Julian Rush used on Francis? Maybe this was her deepest, darkest fear, was that Oz was responsible for the death of her two other boys. And Julian Rush Scarecrow used that as his fear mechanism. Because we know that the fear, whatever fear is used from Scarecrow in the Reeves verse will be a more grounded approach. So I started to think that maybe that is also not there because Julian Rush is there, right? They perform it on there. And from what I saw years ago, there was Clayface was rumored to be in the show and Black Mask was rumored to be in the show. And I never heard anything about uh, Scarecrow. Boba Tox did, we mentioned that. I don't have inside sources, so I was just going by what I, I could find on, online and whatnot. And I never heard anything about Scarecrow, never mentioned. But when he first appeared, I was like, that's very Scarecrow. Everything about him was very Scarecrow. And he says, look at my desk, look at my desk. There's nothing on his desk. Next time we see him, he has Scarecrow items on his desk. A glove with needles and a mask. And you think, okay, in the first time we meet him, in the second episode, the first ex int introduction to Julian Rush, he is Sophia's psychiatrist, right? He keeps everything to himself. The next time we see him, she needs him. She wants him. She calls him in. He's starting to also see who she is. And so he leaves it out in the open. And she doesn't even pick up on it because she's so in her own head anyway. But he's, he's opening up more. And Matt Reeves has said that these are villain origin stories. That Batman creates his villains, right? Chaos has ensued upon Gotham. Julian Rush has left Arkham but magically returns to it in the last episode, he's back in Arkham. I saw other people speculating online that Julian Rush was changed from Jonathan Crane to Julian Rush and not the Scarecrow because of a meeting that might have happened between Matt Reeves and James Gunn where they didn't want their storylines colliding and whatnot. And that could be the case. But I'm starting to suspect that we're going to get Scarecrow. I've also speculated for quite some time that we're going into no man's land. And if we go into No Man's Land, I think Scarecrow's going to have to have a place in there. I think Sophia is going to have a place in there as well. And Catwoman's coming back. Like I think we're playing into it. And I also am starting to think that Harvey Dent is going to play a role in the Batman 2 as well. Mr. Freeze maybe. But Harvey Dent, I think, is coming in for sure now. Well, not for, I shouldn't say for sure. But I really have a strong feeling that we're going to get some Harvey Dent. And if that's the case, this would be a perfect way to bring in Scarecrow. The name change, if you go to Jonathan Crane or not, I don't know. And I don't know how fans accept this character so much. I also like that he's still a little bit different from the Scarecrow that we know, although he looks like he would be Scarecrow. Like maybe he's learning to use these fear tactics and the red light therapy and all these, and whatever the needles are full of on his victims. And there's a subplot of Julian Rush somewhere that we haven't seen. I'm really excited to see where they go with this because I don't know. Again, it could just be this was a character that they changed. It could be an amalgamation of characters that they decided, let's not just stick with Scarecrow. Let's make him a bunch of little characters and do his own thing, which is perfectly respectable in my opinion because I think it worked out in the end. But there were still a lot of questions. Like when you do a video and the comments are always like, I don't think he's real or I think he's Scarecrow. I think there's a lot of questions there that do they need answering? I don't necessarily know. Like they're not pressing questions necessarily, but I love them. I love asking them, but I would really love to see in the Batman 2 he comes. Now, Matt Reeves said in the Batman 2, you're not going to have to have seen the Penguin show to understand the Batman 2. So if Julian Rush is introduced in the Batman 2, it would have to be a, hey, this is Carmine Falcone's daughter, and this is her psychiatrist. And it's such an easy introduction because us, we who have seen the show, will be like, yeah. And people who haven't will be like, oh, okay, all right. Makes complete sense to me. Carmine has another daughter, a legitimate daughter, who is an Arkham because Carmine was a mob boss. And like, you could put the pieces together. I think people would understand. It's not that hard. It's not that tough a sell. I would love to see Theo Rossi back in it. I think that would be phenomenal. Time will tell if we're going to get there. But this is fantastic. For everybody that sent me the comments on this, thank you so much. I, this was, I mean, I, I looked at this video right away, put it on my computer, then I put it on my phone. I was, I've been watching it like nonstop. It's awesome. But I think it also shows how when he's the psychiatrist, it's not there, but then he lets his guard down 
in Shantani in that fourth episode. He lets his guard down with Sophia and it's there in the open. And we never caught it. It's been four or five weeks. No one caught it. And there it is right in the open. Scarecrow in front of us. Also, if you haven't checked out Holy Christmas Batman from my friend Brian Royer, link in the description below. It is a jolly good time. Will Julian Rush Scarecrow be in the Batman Part 2? Leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, maybe the master of your own universe.